So thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by newqbo.com. Newqbo.com. So here is our website. So in this video, uh, I'm going to focus on how to find the details of written earnings. So uh, it has to do with finding the details of written earnings uh, account. So I'm going to go to uh, QuickBooks Online in here. And I'm going to go to the balance, balance sheet in here. I'm just going to go to the balance reports. So we're talking about the retain earnings that you see in here, 836,680. So we want to get the details, uh, you know, for this account. So if you click it, click it, it, it goes nowhere. There's, there's nothing to click. There's no link there, right? So we want to find out the details. Okay. Uh, so first of all, uh, in QuickBooks, uh, you know, end of the fiscal year. QuickBooks will automatically make close closing entry and they move from here near income to retain earnings. So, you know, basically end of the year automatically they move from net income for the current year uh, uh, to retain earnings account. Okay, so uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run uh, PNL. I already did it here. I'm going to show it again. So I'm going to run PNL in here. PNL report. Okay, and uh, make sure uh, both reports on same accounting um, method. This one is on accrual, so I want to run profit and loss also on accrual. So I'm going to change this to all dates just to find out when uh, this company started. Run report, and I'm going to change this to years. Okay, so from here, it tells you the company started, uh, the first transaction was recorded on July 8th, so it started in 2010. So now I'm going to switch this to custom, and I'm going to type January 1, 2010, right? Or you can just type from July 8, doesn't matter. So 12-31-2015, right? Okay, so I'm going to run this report. Okay, so now go all the way down and you will see this 836.680.02 uh, that you see on your balance report as well. 836.680.02, right? Okay, uh, so what that tells you is uh, whatever is in there, the return on its amount. It comes directly from your uh, your PNL for in income for each fiscal year, right? Forty thousand, ten thousand, seventy thousand, fifty-nine, nine thirty, two twenty-two, nine twelve, four thirty, eight thirty-seven, and uh, so there was no manual entry done uh, affecting this uh, uh, written earnings account. So if you have manual entry done, a cash withdrawal or something. Uh, you know, you'll you'll have a different uh, amount in here. All right, so so what you need to do is uh, I suggest maintain some sort of retain earnings account analysis on your spreadsheet. As you can see, I did it here. So 2011 through 2015, 10,000, 70,000, 59,930, and so on. Right? Okay, that's how you get 836,680. Okay, so now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to withdraw some money uh, this year. Let's just say uh, this year, like January 1. Okay, so I'm going to just write, let's say, check or something and take it out from the retain earnings account. Okay, so retain earnings. Let's say I'm going to uh, write a check for this $300,000. Okay, so I'm going to save this. All right, and this is on January 1, 2016. Okay, so now on the balance sheet, the balance sheet I'm running, you know, July 28, doesn't matter. Uh, and now, as you can see here, 
you have, you know, the, the it went written on balance went down to 536. So I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to go to chart of accounts. Or here's your chart of accounts, and here's the retain earnings. So if you have a huge chart of accounts and you need to find out retain earnings, all you have to do is just type it here. So here's the first one. Okay, so under action, you will see report. Let's click this report. Okay, so in this case, this you know defaults 90 days. Let's change that to all and run report. Okay, here's your uh you know the entry you did so this is your uh, manual entry you did it will show up on your report if it's a manual entry if it's a closed entry uh, done by uh, QuickBooks it won't show up in here right so what you need to do next time when you update this spreadsheet is add that to uh, the spreadsheet here all right I'm gonna do January 1 2016 and the transaction type on this one is check expense all right so expense I'm gonna write expense see the transaction type is right here right okay and so it's trained a thousand dollars right so it should go in here debit because it's withdrawal so whenever you have a closing entry or credit so that means you have income and Whenever you have closing entry, debit, that means you have loss for that year. So it's $300,000, right? Okay, and now it's basically went down. Now, so 836, this minus this, right? So this is how you have to maintain some sort of uh, 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 spreadsheet. Then you can uh, find the details of uh, uh, the details of you know this account all the time. You know you don't need to do it every day because you know normally this is once a year transaction. So if you just spend a few minutes and maintain some sort of spreadsheet like this, uh, then you know uh, you know all the information right in front of you. All right, so. Uh, so hope it helped and thanks for watching and visit our website newkeyview.com thank you